Hi guys, I'm just starting the new year. I thought you should see how pretty it is here. It's all white. Right now it's minus 14. It's actually freezing. Anyways, beautiful people, I just wanted to say the following. The only reason why Harry and Meghan Markle are still allowed to get away, are getting away with everything, is because the royal family are allowing them to do so. Um, I wish people would stop saying that Parliament is the one who decides to take away their titles. It is not. It is the Queen. She has to issue a letter's patent or to amend the one that's presently there. Uh, all she needs to do is amend it. State that only British citizens can use... Oh, it's starting to snow. It's supposed to be a snowstorm. Uh, only British citizens can hold a royal title. Um, let me see. That Harry is going to be have no titles. And he's going to be a private citizen. To grant his wishes, obviously. But in a letter's patent, she can establish the use, the usage of the royal title. She can declare and state that only the royal titles can only be used in conjunction to work for the royal family, not for private enterprises. <sighs> yeah, the only reason why they're there is because the royal family is allowing them. Do you know what compromise uh, bias is? It's when you choose... You pick and choose what words and arguments are going to back your narrative. Nobody in the church, look how pretty. Nobody in the church, when Meghan Markle was getting married, said a prayer for Thomas Markle, who they all knew had had not one, but two heart attacks. Be under no illusion that when Meghan Markle was walking, when Prince Charles was walking Meghan down the aisle, he knew that... Her own father had had two heart attacks. Nobody said a prayer for him. And they all doubled down in their beliefs, or not beliefs, in their narrative. They all helped her narrative. And they gave validity and respectability to her words. To this day, nobody has called them out on that. Now, Prince Harry and the royal family answer, or people like them, to people's outrage about all the ongoing abuse to the royal titles and their position is, so what? So what? You're unhappy? So what? I think it's time to put an end to, you know what? If anything 2020 has shown us is that it put our values and what's important into perspective. And... The way that the royal family is behaving, it's not in accordance to the contract that they have with the people, which is to serve them and not abuse that position. Uh, Camilla has been leaking a lot of um, a lot of articles to her friends because she's outraged that Prince William is demanding that the royal family be held to a much higher standard because of all the privileges and positions that they have. So she's upset about that. If we are going to hold Harry and Meghan accountable, we have to see who's backing them and who else has gotten away with all that behavior. A lot of people say, oh, leave Prince Charles alone and Camilla. Hmm. No, because of him is what Meghan Markle is there. Because of him, Harry is there. Harry's never going to leave her because if anything positive came out of his relationship with Meghan Markle is that Prince Harry has been exposed for who he really is, which is a petty, envious, idiot jerk with access to a lot of position and a lot of privileges, which have to be taken away. The real family still has an answer. Who is um, paying for their security? Uh, the matter about the transfer from the Royal Foundation to um, Travelist has to be addressed. There's a lot of irregularities that are ongoing, which have to be addressed. 2021 has to be the year that when we call people out, because, you know, we're starting a new decade. A new decade, new people, same old values. The problem is that all those values have been forgotten. So 
Meghan Markle, in many ways, is there to expose the worst of the royal family. Because she embodies everything that's wrong with the royal family. And that's, but the royal family, instead of sorting it out, it's doubling down because that's what they do. They double down. No, we're not going to leave it. No, we're not going to do that. So what? You know that in their website, up to two months ago, when you went to the royal website and you clicked on Meghan Markle, because yes, they are still there. It didn't say that she represented Her Majesty the Queen's values. It didn't. It was just recently put back in. They're doubling down because they don't own to their mistakes. Their answer to everything has been, so what? And I am a monarchist, but that is not acceptable. It does not take an act of parliament. It's just a letters pattern. Another thing is, Prince Charles did back two of the worst pedophiles in the UK. Uh, he did know um, it shouldn't be allowed to be forgotten. Um, he should be held accountable. These are all my opinions, by the way, but this about Prince Charles is all over the news. And he uses what I call avoidance language. In his letters to the inquiry, he said that as far as he could remember, as best as his memory know, the police wrote to him and told him, these guys are pedophiles. These guys have been accused of this. His answer to one in one of the letters that was allowed to be exposed was that, he was writing to one of these pedophiles and he was saying to him that he was going to deal with this terrible person. This terrible person, keep in mind, was one of the victims that was raped by one of these pedophiles. So, no, um, people want just to forget about it. So what if he supported pedophiles? So maybe what if he, because of him, they continue to rape children and maybe they're murdered. So what? He's happy with Camilla now. Yes. But him and Camilla destroyed the lives of many people. And that's what people want to put under the rug. If you're going to call Meghan and Harry out, you have to call everybody out. Uh, it's, it's the only fair thing to do, in my opinion. If you want to comment about this, uh, please be respectful. And, and remember, this, uh, this is just me venting out. Um, yes, so in many ways, and this is why um, it's time to start this decade, but really purging everything back because the royal, Prince William is right. The royals should be held to a much higher standard because they have a contract with the UK people to have all those privileges. Keep in mind that the queen did not have to take uh, the, the crown. She could have said no and it would have gone to somebody else. It's, it wasn't, and every time a royal has been given the option to live as a private citizen, they have all declined it. Harry was given the option prior to his marriage to live as a private citizen with no titles. He refused it. No and took the titles and demanded the titles, knowing full well he had no intention to live up to the conditions attached to those titles. When they go out and sell themselves, they don't sell themselves as Harry Windsor and Meghan Markle. They sell themselves as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, which is a royal title. Because nobody wants to hear what Harry Windsor and Meghan Markle have to say. Heck, I mean, they barely tolerate them as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But they are selling the title. And that is what's wrong. And the royal family, instead of calling them out, they're doubling down and helping them. These are just my opinions. But I think it's time to put a stop to everything. Um, it's time to... The questions have been asked. It's just time to demand the answers. It's time to purge everything. And Prince William is right. What do you think? Anyways, I hope you enjoy the view. It's really pretty, huh? These are my walks. See? It's 14 degrees. This is dedication, people. <laughs> Have a good day.